We'll guide you through how to make a Minecraft server for 1.21.6. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. With this, you can then go and play with your friends and other people. So let's guide you through this. First of all, come onto your desktop. And what we're going to need to do is go and open up a web browser. Now, what you need to do is go and type in Minecraft server download like so. And you can then come to this top result here, which will take you to the Minecraft site. And as you can see, we can go and see Minecraft server 1.21.6. Go and click on it and we can go and download it just like so. Wait for it to finish. And then what we can do is we can come to the bottom of our computer, open up our file explorer and come to our downloads. Here we are and we've got the server.jar. What you want to do is just come onto your desktop and right click in some blank space, hover over new and press folder. And then you can go and name this server. I'll just name it new as well. Then what we can do is we can go and drag and drop server.jar in, and then here it is. It's important to note that with this guide, we are hosting the server on our computer, meaning we're using our computer's resources and our network, and that isn't always ideal for security reasons, amongst other things as well. So an alternative is a sponsor of today's video, Apex Hosting. I'll put a link down below in the pinned comment and the description. They're my go-to place for a Minecraft server. They've got so many great features like one-click install mod packs, DDoS protection, 24-7 servers and support, and many other great benefits as well. And you can get started really quickly with them. So check them out if you need a server. Now, before we go and run this, we want to make sure we've got Java installed. Let's come to the bottom of your computer again and open up a web browser and head to java.com. To start with, we're gonna get it for desktops. So press download Java for desktops and you can then press download here again and it will then download. Press back though, because we also want to get developer. So press developer downloads. What we can then do is we can go and select JDK24. In this case, I'll select Windows. We can go and find the installer and we can go and download it here. So wait for these both to go and finish downloading and install them just like any other application. After you've done that, you can then go and return to server.jar. I've already got Java installed and you want to go and right click on it, hover over open with, press choose another app and you want to select Java and press always. Now it should go and run. If things don't start appearing after a few seconds, go and double click it like so and then they should. It'll get to a point where they're going to go and stop. What we then need to do is go and open up the eula.txt just here and you need to go and read and agree to the EULA here. This is basically the terms. So you can copy and paste this link into a web browser and read it through, I already have. If you agree, you need to go and change false to true, then go to the top left and press file and press save. And we can close this. What you can also do is come into server.properties. You need to go and right click on it, then hover over open with and select notepad. Here you can go and start changing different things about your server. For example, the difficulty, you could go and make this hard and there are other things you can go and change as well. So go through the list and if you go and change anything, make sure you go and press file and then you can go and press save like so and it's now saved. And then what we need to do is continue with the setup process by double clicking server.jar again. The Minecraft server application will go and open up like so, and you can then go and see it's now finished the spawn preparation. And what we can do is go and join it. So go and open up the Minecraft launcher. In Minecraft, press multiplayer. Just be aware we are playing third party online. We can press proceed. What you can do is press add server. Because you're hosting it on your computer, you want to go and type in localhost in server address and press done. And there is the server there. So then what you can do is go and press join server and you've now connected to your server. It's that simple. And now we can go and start playing just like so. You may be wondering how can your friends join? Well, because we're hosting on our network, we'll need to go and do something called port forwarding. We have got another method on the channel you can use using another third party application. But that is why I really do like using Apex is then people can easily go and join the server. We don't have to worry about giving them our IP address potentially and then joining our own network.